So you've got a problem with your Fire Stick. You're at this screen and you can't get it to connect to the internet. To make matters worse, you haven't got your Fire Stick remote. I recently found myself in this situation when traveling. I took my Fire Stick with me, but left the remote at home. You might think that you're stuck at this point and there's no solution. Well, you'll be happy to know there is one. And in this video, I'll be sharing with you the method I use to get around this problem. Stay tuned to find out more. Before we get into it, here's a quick reminder of the importance of protecting your online security from one of my channel partners, Atlas VPN. A virtual private network reroutes all of your internet traffic through an encrypted tunnel. This protects you from online snooping, whether that be by hackers, governments, or your ISP. Atlas VPN provides dedicated servers optimized for streaming, which tackle issues like buffering and lag. Atlas VPN are the first and only VPN provider to use SafeSwap. Atlas VPN has WireGuard protocol, making your VPN experience quicker and easier. Its state-of-the-art cryptography is more reliable than ever for streaming, gaming and browsing. Now, some VPNs limit the number of devices you can have connected at the same time. But with Atlas VPN, you will never have that worry. If you want streaming freedom, grab Atlas VPN's best deal by clicking the link in the description or pinned comment down below. You'll get all the benefits of a safe and secure VPN, as well as strong unblocking capabilities for just $1.99 per month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. To get this solution up and running, you'll need a few things. The name and password of the most recent Wi-Fi network that your Fire Stick was successfully connected to. A device like a PC, laptop, smartphone or tablet that's connected to the internet via Wi-Fi so you can create a mobile hotspot. Another device that's either a smartphone or tablet. And lastly, don't forget to have your Fire Stick plugged in. If you don't have your Fire Stick remote, you can use the Amazon Fire TV app, which you can install on your smartphone or tablet. But for the app to work, you must have your Fire Stick and smartphone or tablet connected to the same Wi-Fi network. To connect your Fire Stick and smartphone to the same Wi-Fi network, you can create a mobile hotspot. This can be done on your PC, laptop, smartphone or tablet if connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. You can then control your Fire Stick with your second smartphone by connecting them to the same Wi-Fi network and using the Amazon Fire TV app on your phone. You need a separate device to create a mobile hotspot because your device, which you've used to create the mobile hotspot, cannot connect to its own hotspot. You need to know the name and password of the last Wi-Fi network your Fire Stick connected to to set up a mobile hotspot with the same credentials and connect your Fire Stick to it. If you are familiar with the process, feel free to set it up yourself to resolve this issue. However, if it seems too difficult or you are new to using a mobile hotspot, stick with me and I'll guide you through it step by step. The first step is to create a mobile hotspot and rename it to match your Fire Stick's last connected Wi-Fi name and password. For this demonstration, I'm using a Samsung Galaxy phone to create a mobile hotspot. However, the process may vary slightly if you use a PC, laptop, tablet or iOS device. You can find the specific steps for your device on my website by visiting firetvsticks.com forward slash no Wi-Fi. To set up your Fire Stick with your mobile hotspot, follow these steps. 
swipe down from the top of the screen and tap on the cog icon in the top corner. Choose Connections. Select Mobile Hotspot and Tethering. Tap on Mobile Hotspot to open its settings. Choose Configure Mobile Hotspot. Delete the current network name and enter the name of the last Wi-Fi network your Fire Stick was connected to. Delete the current password and enter the password for the last Wi-Fi network your Fire Stick was connected to. Tap Save. Now once you turn on your mobile hotspot, the Fire Stick will automatically identify it and connect to the internet. Once your Fire Stick is connected, the next step is to connect your second smartphone or tablet to the same mobile hotspot. This will allow you to use the Amazon Fire TV app to control your Fire Stick. The second smartphone can be either an Android or iOS device. Swipe down from the top of your screen and tap on the cog icon. From the menu that appears, select Connections. And then select Wi-Fi. Find your mobile hotspot in the list and tap on it to connect. Open your App Store and search for Amazon Fire TV. Install and open the app, which will automatically search for Fire TV devices on the same network. Now, since you're connected to the same mobile hotspot, it will automatically find your Fire Stick. Select your Fire Stick from the list and enter the pin when prompted. Once you've done that, you're all set to control your Fire Stick with your phone. If you want to learn more about the Amazon Fire TV app and its features, I recommend checking out my tutorial. You can find the link above me or in the description below for step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the app. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow.